at the Olympics, you'll see athletes display a range of emotions. I mean, you'll see the highs and lows of winning to the agony of defeat. You'll see happiness and joy and elation, excitement, amusement, grief, suffering, disgust, contempt, anger, nothing, jealousy, pride, embarrassment, shame, triumph. You'll see the whole range of human emotion on display at the Olympics. We've studied the immediate whole body reactions of athletes right when they win and lose a match in the Olympic Games, and we've categorized their behaviors and classified them as what we call triumph. The triumph expression is one that has three components to it. There's expansion, such as raising the body, puffing the chest out, standing up straight, putting the head back. There's aggression, so you'll see some athletes raise a fist, pump their fist in the air, look, have a fierce look on their faces. And then there's the attention, there's the direct stare at the, at the competition or others. The athletes who lose the match have the exact opposite. So there's the opposite of expansion, there's the contraction, there's the, the, the submissive types of behaviors, the body gets smaller and shrinking down. We see that in people from all around the world, in many different countries and cultures. We see that in congenitally blind individuals. We see that across different sports, you'll see people doing the same things. You'll see the same types of behaviors across phylogenetic lines. So you'll see other animals doing the same type of behavior when they win in an agonistic context. And so that starts to lead, leads one to believe that this behavior is something that is what we call an evolved adaptation that has remained in our behavioral repertoire as, our, as a species and it's, it's part of our biological composition, essentially. The emotions that you see, that all of us as an audience see on that day at the Olympic Games, which will happen only once every four years, is the culmination of years, of literally years of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into leading up to that one day. And that one day, you can have a great day or you can have a bad day, but it's just a little, little glimpse of the pain and agony that every person goes through to put their body and minds to the absolute limits. And if anything that these experiences have taught me and my research has taught me is it's to really respect that process and how people have really um, are, have to deal with that raw, primitive emotions that they have to go through every day to get to that level.